Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at decision theory and in this case it's got an actuarial example in the question. Based on the proposal form, an applicant for life insurance is classified as standard life, an impaired life, or an uninsurable. Okay, these are actuarial terms. Okay, but if you're not an actuary, these are essentially three categories. Okay, now... The proposal form is not a perfect classifier and may place the applicant into the wrong category. Okay, so they might misassign somebody. Okay, uh, the decision to place the applicant in state I is denoted DI and the correct state uh, for the applicant is I. Okay, now, so this is a loss function for this decision making process. Okay, so this these are the true states. Okay. Category 1, 2, and 3, and these are our decisions, D1, D2, and D3, okay? So if we're making correct decisions, there's no loss function, so you can sort of see that there, 0, 0, and 0. But if we misclassify them, for example, if we classify them as a, what they call it, a standard life, uh, when down here, if they misclassify them as a standard life, when they actually are uninsurable, there's a, a, a loss there, of 20 okay so you can sort of see that the losses are very substantial there okay uh, at uh, up at up here and not but not so much up here but you know okay anyway determine the minimax solution when assigning an applicant to a category okay and then based on the application form the correct category for a new applicant appears to be an impaired life however of applicants which ha appear to have uh, impaired lives, 15% are in fact standard lives, 25% are insurable, which means 60% are the uh, impaired lives. Determine the base solution, uh, the base solution, the base criterion uh, decision for this applicant. Okay. Now. So let's just look at the minimax. Okay, so essentially what we have here is decision one, decision two, and decision three. Okay, and what we're going to pick out is the maximum loss there. Okay, so it's 20, 15, and 8. So these are the maximums down here. And essentially the minimum... Um, of those maximums is eight. So the minimax solution to this loss function table is D3, okay? So determine the minimax solution when uh, assigning an applicant to a category, okay? Now, doesn't mean you necessarily do it. If you are, are an actuarial student and that doesn't immediately chime with you, it means it's it's what the minimax gives you. It doesn't mean what you have to do. Anyway, so now we're going to look at the Bayes uh, criterion. And the Bayes criterion is essentially based on the expected values of the losses under each decision. Okay, or the, okay, so uh, we're told that the category one is 15%, category two is uh, 60%. We're not actually told that, we figure it out. And finally, that we are told that category three is 25%. Okay. So essentially, uh, just looking at the table above, I'll just sort of uh, look at D1. So it is the probability of category one is 15%. Category two is 60%, 0.25. And essentially what we're going to do is multiply those probabilities by these loss functions. It's essentially the expected value of a discrete random variable. So we have 0 0.515 times 0, 0 0.6 times 12, and 0 0.25 times 20. And we get 12.2. When we do it for D1 and or D2 and D3, we get the uh, 4.5 and 3 respectively, okay? Now, we want to make the lowest loss. So, it's, we're picking out the lowest um, of these values here, okay? 
so that is why we go for d3 okay so it's the lot it's beneficial the most beneficial outcome uh, uh probable outcome for us is to make as small of a loss as possible so that's d3 so the biz criteria the biz decision is d3 that's it we leave it there